Well, it's been a common story this year. Outbreaks of avian influenza in Iowa bird flocks and dairy cattle herds. And in the midst of fair season, safety is top of mind for those showing cattle. While we're 23 days away from the Iowa State Fair, the Polk County Fair actually started yesterday. That's where we find our Lindsay Burrell, and she's out at the fairgrounds right now. Lindsay, what kinds of precautions are exhibitors taking with their animals this week? Yeah, Andy, safety is definitely top of mind just with all the avian flu outbreaks that we've been seeing here in Iowa as we do enter this, you know, extreme part of fair season. It's been a national issue too. 12 states have reported infected herds of cattle. In Iowa, since June, 13 dairy herds in the state have reported having avian flu. And since 2022, 23 million birds have been culled in Iowa due to avian flu, kind of helping stop that spread. Now here at the fairgrounds, we were able to sp speak with an 4-H official and a participant who say now the process of entering their cattle to show hasn't changed much, but they are being extra vigilant during vet checks. I feel like this one was a little more uh, detailed. I feel like they paid more attention to things just to be cautious. One thing that we are paying attention to is any recommendations from the state veterinarian and Iowa State University Extension and Outreach. Those are our two sources. If there is something that we need to change or take uh, special precautions with, that is our resources for those. Now, Vincent also mentioned that they have about 100 cattle here. We're here in the sheep barn. That's where they've been kind of condensing and having one. But what they're not so concerned is that they don't have dairy cattle here. And they haven't had dairy cattle here for about six years now. But that doesn't mean that other cattle can't get this avian flu. So they're definitely being precautious. They had vet checks before, and then they had to submit that paperwork before even bringing their steers and heifers here, Andy. So they're just really on the lookout for any kind of sign of any kind of sickness in these animals. Uh, that's uh, Lindsey Burrell there reporting from the Polk County Fair and fair season is upon us.